Hi guys. I hope you guys are safe. I hope everybody's doing well, family and all. Hi official DJ Ben, I see you. Wow, I am Olawumi Heavens. In case this is your first time ever of seeing me or joining this um, IG live, the program is inspired by others. And I try to explain every time I come on what Inspired by Others is about. It's basically a program that will bring to you people who are doing different things, things that they love and they're doing well. I mean, there's always a story behind that success. There's always a story of how they got there. And that is exactly why, you know, I thought of this lovely, lovely platform. And, you know, we've had different people on the platform. We've had, you know, a light or dada. We've had MME song. We've had so many people on the platform, basically, just to come and share their story of how they got there, what they did, what inspires them, and so much more. A lot. Okay, today I have someone absolutely special, very special indeed, and I know why. They, I have my reasons, not just because of who she is, but you know because of the way she acts, what she does, you know, the way she, I have stories about her, but I probably will just share one on the platform. I'll be on standby for her because I know she's online, but as usual, sometimes network, you don't get to see the person on time. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Motunde Adebowale, David. Yes. I saw under the comment, someone said, oh, so you're yeah, Yoruba. Who am I talking about? Some of you know her as Lolo One. Some of you know her as Adaku and we'll be sharing the screen today. Yes, yes, yes. So let's pray that internet, the network will let us be great. So we'll take the opportunity to just wait for her a bit because I already saw her online before the program. Anyways, um, I hope everyone is safe as I said earlier on before the program because a lot of things are going on right now and you see people complain about one thing or the other which is understandable but at the same time we have to keep ourselves inspired we have to tell ourselves that you know it's possible because the reality is it's possible for me i believe that you know maybe because of the pattern that i learn from i learn from patterns a lot i learn from people's stories and i feel like other people can learn too this year a lot is happening but i believe that even <clears throat> excuse me last year we had issues with people just <clears throat> not being inspired. Why do I say that? Because a lot of suicides happened last year. People just lost hope and people didn't know how to go forward. I believe that was what it was. And that was why last year I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. I even reached out to people. Let's do this. Let's go. And then other things came up and then I started doing that. Then people were calling me and saying, you know what, when are you doing this? Now that we're all at home, you have to do this regardless. We have to do this. So I am waiting for my sister. I can't see her yet. I can't, in fact, years ago, I was presenting a program. Let me say it before you introduce yourself. I was presenting a program, Red Carpet Extra. I had interviewed her and then it got to a point. I was really heavy as in, in fact, if you see me when I'm pregnant, you'll be afraid because I usually look like a truck. And I couldn't present anymore. And I decided, you know what, let me have some celebrities that will come on and they will stand standing as the presenter. It will be like a competition and all that. And she was one of those people that I reached out to. And she didn't even think about it twice. She just said, okay, why not? I'm not even sure I gave her any long notice. And I showed up at her office with my huge belly, with the cameraman. And she was like, right there, she even got her own guests. Can you, can you believe that? She got her own guests from within her office. She did a presentation. I was huge, maybe because I was very emotional. I just go home and I thought, oh my God, this lady with all she does and all that, she was really busy. People were calling her left, right and center. And she showed up. She presented it like it was her show. And before you know it now, out of most of the celebrities, she was one of the top top three that's just one who there are plenty of stories but i won't say all the stories because if we say all the stories i won't give her time to talk there's another story about a restaurant but that one is for another day maybe i'll share it <laughs> so what i'm trying to get at is a humility yeah some people will say humility it's not it's not small something she's very humble 
Ah, you, ah, you see, I told you that when I finish the story, she'll be blushing. So, we are fortunate that we are black. We cannot see the blush. <laughs> How are you doing, my sister? <laughs> How are you, Allah? I hope everybody wants um, to manage um, my voice. Ah, I know it's a busy season for you also, and you are still working. Oh, network, please release her for us in Jesus' name. Can you hear me? Oh, people are already sending in. Lolo Wazobia FM. M M, -M says Lolo Wazobia FM. We'll see you. Wow, good evening. Adaku. We can no problem. I think it can work. Mm. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay, so I've said a few things about you even before I added you up in terms of radio, TV, and I know you do much more than that because if I start reeling it out, but, but let me allow you, let me allow you to introduce yourself the way you want to be introduced. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not one of those that all those things really matter. My name is Omotunde Adeboale David. I'm a mom, actor, OAP, manager, motivator, anything that I can be to anyone I am. So that's just me, simple. I don't think all those conditions, everybody knows I go to school. I... <laughs> Guys, what did I tell you? Producer, MC, as in plenty, plenty things, so friend, sister, mom, a lot of things. Yeah. And it takes a lot. It takes a lot to do all that. But I'm going to ask you this. Like, what was it like when you were growing up? Did you decide that, okay, you know what? Entertainment is my thing. Was it because of what you studied? I mean, what, what happened along the line that, made you, that just made you go towards this path? And what was the reaction then? Because there was a season when if you said you wanted to do TV or acting, they'll be like, excuse me, are you sure you want to make money? And you won't be accountant or lawyer. So how was it, what happened and how was it like? How was it received? Uh, for me, I grew up um, in boarding school. So I was more like, I made up my own fairy tale as I went. Um, I told the story many times. Law was handed to me because everybody felt Yes, you talk a lot, you make a good lawyer. But entertainment has always been something that called me from within. So I couldn't do it straight up. So I waited until I had practiced for like three years so that those that pay your school fees will not be upset. But after a time, I just knew that this wasn't me inside. I wanted to do more with my life and I had to make a a very tough decision at some point. And okay. while a lot of my colleagues were growing in their legal profession, I was changing careers. And I can tell you, it wasn't a walk in the park. It was very challenging because you're telling me to go on a terrain that I didn't even know what was gonna happen. I didn't even know where I was gonna go. I didn't even know what was going to happen. I just took a step. I resigned and I started looking for a job on TV, so to say. It was TV that led me to radio. When I went to training school at um, Federal Training, Federal Radio Nigeria Training School, I did a certificate in presentation. That was what set my radio journey. It wasn't like I even planned it. After the course, I was one of the four, I was one of the top in the class, and I was fortunate enough to be given straight employment, contract employment to Radio Nigeria at that time. So that was what started my radio journey. You can imagine, I just thought I wanted to do something. But you see, every time you take a step in the direction of your goals or your passion or your talent, every other thing will meet you on the way. All you need is that boldness to take the step. Then lead the creator to write your step. Somehow, providence, universe, anything you choose to call it, would take you on the path that you ought to go. But imagine if I stayed stuck practicing law and I was so scared to even try. 
maybe all these beautiful stories we have now would not have come to be. But I dare to take a step that time. And they will say the rest is history. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, from the point of view of, of family, how did they react? Because I know a lot of people, first thing they think about is, okay, yes, it's on certain terrain. Even if I decide that I want to go there, what would they say? What would family say? Would they accept it? Because you've done such, I mean, to, to study what you did is not something small yeah. so for you to change yeah well my mother didn't even understand what i was talking about she said it in yoruba that means you want to become like all those what she had in her head is those days people that used to dance on the streets and like drop coins for them you know shile shile all those small small coins Mm-hmm. That was what she had in her mind. Like, so Bobo lawyer to Loshe, to feel almost seven years, to she, you now want to drop everything. But I insisted that that was what I wanted. So I keep telling people, a lot of people might say no. But if you know what you want, stick your guns, stick to it. It is your success that would make everything all right. Mm. And that's what happened for me. My success made everything okay. Eventually, because it didn't happen overnight, but because I believed in myself enough, I was able to weather even their no to tame them. I seem to be gifted in it. Give me a wedding, I'll do it. The first wedding I did, of course, it was a friend. I just took the mic and I entertained to the best of my ability. And it became a craft people were willing to pay me for. Every time there is no MC, whether you're a corporate one or you do weddings or any kind of even informal, I've done a lager before. Why I didn't really focus on that is because I'm a dysfunctional Yoruba woman. So speaking Yoruba, <laughs> speaking Yoruba was a challenge. I would have been doing Alaga excellently. I must, I've done it pockets of time when people insist. Like I've been privileged to do, I usually do Alaga for people that are cross-cultural. Okay. So I can speak Pidgin. So that makes, I've done like a couple of that. I'm working on my Yoruba Alaga but maybe my Yoruba is not there yet. So that's why I've not even done a lager. So for me, every time any MC gets before an audience, there's that fear that initially comes. What am I going to do? How am I going to entertain these people? But one of the things that helped me, do you know, Ola, as I grew in this job, I began to realize that no matter the crowd we face, there's one common denominator. They are all human. Yes. Once you tell that to yourself, I know that I look at the crowd, I first say so. Are there more men than women? Is it a family gathering? Is it... I just do my own science of the crowd. Then I know how to go. If there are fathers there, of course they will have a daughter. So I appeal to them in that way, to be able to get across. If there are more mothers, I appeal to them like a sister, a friend, a co-gender person, and acceptability comes that way. If it's children, I just get into the mood. I just bring out my child. I've done many children's events. I've done MC for children's events, birthdays, children, events that are very large all you have to do is just bring out your child and the job gets done so i keep telling people that we are all engraced for what we do yeah. i might not be able to understand how ola can be such an excellent interviewer but oh if ola would speak she'll tell people that 
her skills were honed over the time. We call her up now. Put worry, our president before you. I know the only thing you just do is give me a few minutes. Let me do my research. Yeah. And in one hour, you are back and ready. Somebody will look at you and say, "How? How do you do that?" But whatever job we choose to do, just know that you are going to have a beginning. And that beginning will be rough because you are just getting to know the job. But give yourself a break. Me, Ola, and everybody that you look up to, we started from somewhere. I done an event before that backstage I was vomiting because I was so scared. Because there were so many big people there and I just had a MC corporate event that year. But do you know what? When I finish vomiting, I wash out my mouth. I go hold my mic, and I did an excellent job. I don't know whose camera is not stable, mine or yours. Somebody's complaining. Not, uh, yes, because it seems like we can't even see you. So what I'm thinking is, oh, okay, I, I should is leave, then I will come back in. Yeah, I don't think it's yes. from my side. Okay, let me let, let me. me yes, leave and then. Let's invite you back on so that we can see her beautiful face. Guys, just as she said, it's not an easy thing, but she does it. She does it and she does it well. I'm going to be talking to her about that, the acting part of her. Okay. Is my camera frozen? Can you guys see me? Is my camera still frozen? Guys, is my camera frozen? Let me know. Just um if you can see me if i'm moving let me know comment so that i know okay i'm good yeah okay thank you we're trying to add her back up i think the network but it's already waiting for her so she will get on okay thank you that means my camera is not frozen okay let's try to add her on i'm okay thank you guys thank you so we're still trying to add her back on i'm sure it's a network maybe where she is thank you julie i see you Fem real, I see you. Okay, she's unable to let me try to add her again. I think it's the network at her end. My camera is okay. Thank you. Thank you. I was about to think that maybe I was frozen in some kind of way. Hi, Monday. Oh, oh, oh yes, welcome back. I really yeah. apologize. I don't know. No. I could see you, but you couldn't see me. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We know we're beautiful guests. Thank you very much, Femi. Um, Thank you. <laughs> the acting part of it how did that start because i mean i know it's not the only one you've done but when people see jennifer even for me i was right and i started laughing like before this interview because when people see you now even online i saw the the statement of someone said i am a food i am a junkie i am a i'm a junk i am a jennifer i'm just laughing I, 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 that. how did acting start for you and then this Adaku character that I don't, I'm not sure if that character will stop following you ever. <laughs> like, how did you do it? And how do people take it when they see you on the streets? Well, for me, acting has been part of me forever. I've done a lot of stage even before I did anything on TV. Mm. I guess I was just, I was just blessed. I was called to play Adaku by Funke Akindele. I didn't even solicit for it. But you see, your gift will keep making a way for you. I keep telling people that if you are all about money, you might never achieve what you want to achieve in life. Because if the only thing that inspires you or drives you is that I want to earn, you might not get what you want. All the places Funke saw me before she invited me to come and play Adaku. Do you know that I didn't earn a cobble on any of those stages? But because God is always setting us up, and many of us are just so selfish that you just want your reward now. Right now. Not knowing that if you forfeited this one, a bigger one was coming. That's what I did. When she even called me, do you know, I didn't even ask how much I was going to earn. I just wanted to be a part of it. And 
look at what the character playing a character on Jennifer's Diary has done for me as a person. Adaku has taken me around the world. Even though I was popular before, mm. it has added to my fame. Yes. A lot of people see Adaku like a foodie because the <laughs> character is always eating. She loves food. So it's a bit difficult for them to, you know, understand that both of us are separate. <laughs> I've gone to places that people have really humiliated me by wow. pushing food in my face. One woman pushed meat pie at my face at an eatery. It took everything Jesus in me not to slap her face that day. I bought food and people would come and sit on my table and say, this cannot be enough. You must be hungry, you know? <laughs> but I understand it. And <laughs> I understand that. I know they don't mean harm, but mm. sometimes they can cross a real line. Yes. But because we are actors, we understand it. So I smile to the one I can smile at. And the one I have to squeeze my face, I do. The one I can put distance between, I put so that I can be sane and still be able to give them what they want and still have a life. Sometimes I'm out with my children and people would want a picture and I'll politely tell them, please, today I'm hanging out with my family. My children know that I'm an actress, but sometimes they just want to be with their mom. So I'll have to politely decline your photo because sometimes it's very, very stressful for them. We go for an event and my kids are trying to play and people yeah. kept butting in to take a picture, to pull me, to, you know, cast comments. So I just I'm hope people can be more. Mm. I don't even mind if you call me Adaku, but some will pull your dress. You know, some would abuse you. What's wrong with you? You don't think that we watch you? Some would even say things like, we watch your movie. Uh, you can't buy food for us. I'm like, I'm even just a cast on the show. I'm not even the producer. So, but you know, we take it in our strides as actors. I know that over the years, people like Patience Ozokwa, she must have had her own share too. Oh my God, I can't imagine. Because if she plays a witch or a wicked mother-in-law, people can see her literally and say a lot of negative things to her. Woman. Oh uh -huh. So Dancing you see... Machine. Sorry, my sister, sorry to cut in. Dancing Machine, we see you. You don't need to send the message over and over again. We see you already. We'll, she will look at your message. Thank you. And then the others also making comments. We see you. You can ask questions if you want. Please go ahead. And you know, I just say, that is the life of an actor. We're called to play characters that are far from us. But for us to make it believable, we have to leave the character. So it's part of the downsides of the job. But I've met some wonderful people too, who have gotten a lot of favors from just because of the characters that we play. So it's a yin yang, you know, situation. Yes. Now you do a lot of things. And even from your story, I'm like, ah, I can't, I can't imagine. Because when you do, when, when you just have the opportunity to play a role that just goes beyond you and people can't get over it, people just are bound to think that that is, that is the person they are looking at. Not They don't see the person that is not in that character, which makes me afraid sometimes when it comes to acting. But I will ask you this, as a mother yourself, how do your children react? Like when they see you or hear you? Is it still the normal thing of, oh, well, that's mommy. And like now I have my daughter at one side before we start. My sister is online. Kenny, oh. I see you. Hi, sister Kenny. <laughs> Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. Hi. So my daughter was asking me questions. She was like, oh, oh, mommy. So this is when you record. This is what you, wh why you do it. This is what, and she's trying to mimic me mimic me and like okay she wants her own show that's a story for another day but how is it like because i see your twins you know you are always twinning with her and all that oh 
what, how do they react when they hear you, see you act, when they see you on TV? Do they want to be like mommy, you know? <laughs> you know our children that we give back to these days? I think they are made in a different kind of mood. My children are their own individuals. And it's amazing they understand what I do. Maybe because they were born into it. They've gone with me on set. In fact, sometimes they take turns to even go with me to radio. They take turns to go with me on set. They understand the job perfectly. Sometimes my, mother, my daughter is interested. Sometimes she's not. I'm like, mommy, it's okay. Go and do your thing. I'll just be here. I, I think the best thing is to live your life before your children as wholesomely as you can. Help them to understand what you do. Then they can begin to form their own paths. Like me, I don't force my kids to do anything. My daughter at the point, she's still evolving. There's a time she wanted to only paint. I allow her. There was a time it was only singing. I allow her. In school, she excels in debating, impromptu speeches. She's um, in the press club. I allow her. It's okay for them to do many things before they find what they want to do exactly. My second son, my first son, Jerry, he's not interested in the arts. He loves anything mechanics. So engineering, electricals is his thing. My second son is an athlete. Anything athletic, he excels. Anything mathematics, academic, he excels. See how different they all are. My last born is evolving. He's eight, but it seems to be the grammarian. He speaks <laughs> mighty English. Even before, my son will say, mommy, you look, this is outrageous, when he was five. And I'm like, where'd you Maybe get that okay? Where'd you get it? So my children are finding their own paths. So I they say, mommy, we love what you do. But I don't force them to do it. You see my daughter more with the camera than my boys because she has more affinity for it than they do. But I don't force them. Let me even shock you. None of my children have social media handles. It's a written rule in my house. You get on social media when you are 16. And my daughter has one more year to go. And she said, mommy, I'm cool with it. It's okay. So that's just really how I deal with my own children. That's amazing. That's amazing. If I take the next question, Femreal says, um, and your characters on, in movies are always exceptional. Uh, Thank you very much, Femi. It's Nigeria for you. Oh, I'm sorry for those people who did that. Well, people are different. I guess we're all learning. Uh, somebody is asking me a question, Ma, do you have any projects you're working on? Okay. Well, my newest project is the radio station I'm managing right now. I'm the general manager of a new radio station in Lagos. It's called Lasgidi FM. So that's what I'm building now. We're just a few months old, but we're catching on very fast. So that's really, really what I'm focusing on, uh, okay. bigger brand-wise now, presently. COVID has already changed all of us, all our plans for the year. So until this is over, I don't even know if I'm going to do my stage play this year, you know? So. Oh, would have loved. Well, let's see. Fingers crossed. Never can yeah. tell. God, receive our letter. I <laughs> help us banish this too. <laughs> you know. I People are seeing you do big things. And of course, even if they mention it, someone was saying earlier on that, oh, she's Yoruba. Even if they can't remember that, uh, that she's Monsunde, they remember, oh, she's Lolo, she's Zadaku. They shall mention one name or the other. But you didn't just get there one day, as you just said. I would like you to share maybe one of those times that you, maybe a challenge, you were down, 
what inspired you how did you get out of it because most people that watch they see the big they see the big picture they see you looking beautiful they see the photo shows they see us smiling they do not understand that you have also been down but if you had given up we will not be celebrating you now and saying oh so how did you get there so i want you to you know tell us one of those situations Dakeni is asking when I'll come and eat jello fries. Our jello fries is the best in the world. Are but she sure? lives in London. And ah. I cannot I cannot travel until Corona has gone. So you have she to keep that in mind. She will snap the picture and send to us. Please send my own that picture one to us. Torture. Torture. You see, when it comes to challenges, this is how I see it. Trust me. I can tell you, can you hear my voice? I'm tired. I battled my children yesterday. I haven't beaten my children in more, more than five, six years. But we fought yesterday because they were not keeping up with their online classes. And I'd allowed this slide for so many weeks. And they were getting into that mode of he play all the time. But I switched it. I'm the one that is tired. I'm the one that has cried. As I'm talking to you, eh, I'm using my last energy. Mm. But it's a challenge. I got to surmount it. If you see my children shining, doing well in their careers, it's a lot of work. What people just think is that I baked five, six cakes today. Mm. I learned to bake cakes during COVID. I'm sending the first batches to friends that I've not seen in a while. I'm just looking for a way to be a blessing. And I baked. Some of them are eating some of the ones I made. And they can say, oh, no, no, that chocolate cake was amazing. I had to say, okay, I'll bring some. Challenging but you surmount it. Mm -hmm. How many times have I been broken? So many. I cannot even count. But what keeps me standing is the fact that if you do not overcome your troubles, how can you celebrate your triumphs? It's just like somebody telling me, you are a general and you have never fought a war. <laughs> was it challenging yes traumatizing yes have you ever been written in the paper that you are so bad a presenter they should sack you it has happened to me wow there was a time i was reading the news for both cool fm and wasobia and there is this tennis player roger federer that I mispronounced. I think I called it Federera. We've been there. What's my name? And somebody wrote in a national newspaper that the, the news reader was terrible. She was this, she was that. I'm still the same person that got her first award as a news reader. This same person. Hmm. So don't let your challenge break you. Everybody has their days. You need to understand that even in this COVID, do you know that they had challenges? I had friends that said they couldn't even get materials for some of their, their companies, some of their manufacturing, for their manufacturing. You, the only problem you had was you couldn't buy Turkey. You see, challenges are the same. Allah has financial challenges, just like I do. You have emotional challenges, just like I do, and every other person. But we need to get to that point that we recognize a challenge for what it is. It will never stay. It comes and goes just like the night today is already past six going to seven no matter how much you loved today 
it's going to be evening soon. Definitely. By the time the morning comes, it's light again. Rachel. That is how challenges are. Um, okay. That is how challenges are. I will tell people that they should never let their challenges define them. Mm. Instead, they should let their challenges redefine them. Imagine if they didn't write something bad. Would I have, would I have aspired for more? It is your challenges that make you aspire for more. Yes. So, no matter how many gory stories I tell you, oh, there was a day, there was a day I was going to MC an event. There was so much traffic on I had to get down from my car. You know all those our dresses that we make, that is so form-fitting yes. because you ah, want to show ah. figure eight. Yes. I now tried to cross Yanopaja. You know, I, my car was here. We couldn't go around to Idimo. So I said, let me yes. go ahead because time was running. I tried to cross the road. Ola, the zip of my dress, it ripped from the head to my bum. And I was going to MC an event. Imagine, I held the dress this way, running. I got to one woman that was selling pashmina. I used part of my transport. I bought pashmina. I tied it across my lace to just cover my nakedness a bit. Mm. I got on another bike and I went to the wedding. I was a bit late, but do you know that it was one of the best weddings I've ever emceed? Hallelujah. They could not even believe. They just thought it was style. By the time I showed it to the bride, she was even a designer, tea threads. She could not Ooh. believe that I'd gone through that that day. Imagine, do you know that I've got to the wedding and be crying? Ah, or say I'm not even going. Or say I'm not doing. But the job is a job. I didn't want to go and tell my clients I had this challenge. From that job, I know I got like three jobs. But I was challenged that day. Yes. It felt as if, oh, I was disgraced. But I didn't let it define me. I let mm. it redefine me. And I went to that wedding, gave it my best. And I got three jobs from that wedding alone. Wow. So I mean, why are you giving up? <laughs> I keep telling people, I see one of my dearest friends here, Allah. Allah has known me for more than... I'm sure Allah has known me for more than 15 years. I know where we all started from, but we are not where we all start from. But many of our viewers, they are where they started and they're already seeing the end. Are you kidding me? Don't you know that to get from Oshodi to VI, you need to enter like two or three buses. Yeah. So give yourself a break. Challenges are common to all of us. Yes. Mm. Wow, even for me, sitting at the other other side, I'm like, full stop. There's nothing to add again. Like, really, give yourself a break, guys. You don't know the end. It's only God that knows the end from the beginning. Wow. Let me take a deep breath and read some. I mean, you know, this is, this is kind of interview that I'm like, ah, gosh. Okay, but we still have to move on because we can't do it. It's almost like, let's pitch a tent here. That's the way I feel. Let's pitch a tent. One for Moses, one for Lord, Lord, and one for myself. <laughs> so that I won't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. But, but we have to move on. I'm going to take some of the you comments. Hi, <laughs> right, we see you. Let me uh, take some of the comments and questions before we go on. Okay, um, Ojuade says, Ma, my daughter loves your character in Jennifer's diary. Thank you very much. Kiss her for me. The auntie loves her too. Okay. Um, Femreal says, What advice would you give to those aspiring to be like you? The only thing I'll tell anybody is, if God wanted you to be me, he would have created you like me. Mm. It is your originality people are buying not your photocopy 
a lot of people are poor copies of who they think they want to be like yes. if anyone wants to be like Ola Evans you can only be a photocopy of Ola Evans yeah. you can't be her so please be original the more originality you sell love it because they've seen Ola they've seen Lolo but they've not seen Global Inspire yeah They've not seen Godex Kasha. So please sell your original self. People will buy it. Wow, that's that's a huge idea. Are you sure I won't get a book and be doing this quote? I'm going to rewatch it so I can write out your quotes. I'm serious. Oh my God. Uh, Mazi, one of our regular viewers, he says, see your challenges as stepping stones to triumph. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Mazi. Oh, your sister says, Kenny, Lolo has a great heart. My first time of meeting her was through my sister, C. Jones, and I stayed at her home with her kids. Come and see how this woman <laughs> vacated her room for me for four days. I love you. Our, this one is family member. Don't mind watching our dirty <laughs> dinner in public. <laughs> I, I love our, you. Our, you know. our satin in public. <laughs> <laughs> I... okay. okay so many people are saying truly inspiring they're talking about your wisdom you're the best oh wow this is amazing i'm serious about just watching again and writing out the Thank quotes you. and go and put it on ha! it's something oh my god i told you guys it was just oh my god okay presenter calm down take a deep breath <laughs> even me i'm, I'm carried away by him <laughs> by it okay now you mentioned how, you know, someone was asking earlier on how to start and you were talking about selling the original copy of yourself. I still meet people who believe that, okay, you have to know somebody before you can get into acting. I understand that, you know, sometimes God sends someone to boost you or push you. But I mean, is it the first thing you should think about when you need to be seen or you need, whether in, you know, the, any part of the entertainment in general? Ola, when you started in NTA, did we have social media like this? No. They are of the easier generation. This generation is the generation of easy. People come to me and say, I want to be an actor. Do you know what I do? I go to their page and I don't see anything that even suggests this person is a budding actor. Some will say, oh, I want to, I'm a dancer. When I go to their page, no dance. All the challenge they've ever done, you've never attempted any. And you say you're a dancer. Mm. There are so many days, there are so many easy ways to sell yourself online now. Yes. As we're doing, as we're doing this Instagram live, there are more than 4,000 Instagram lives going on. Yes. So what are they telling me? You don't need a big stage to show your talent these days. God at those days and it's only on television. Yeah. You can show your talent. Now you have your phone. You have Instagram. You have TikTok. You have all sorts of applications. Mm. WhatsApp to show your, your talent. Yes. So what are you looking for? Mm. What kind of push? I know many people who have gotten roles because of the acting i did i i have a new character called sister Nkiru. Mm. do you know like last week sister Nkiru went viral around the world that that singular that single skit trended my sister i didn't do anything but put my creativity to work I like this. yeah i'm listening i just put my creativity to work Mm. and the rest is easy mm. the rest no. is easy you don't need any money but your data and a good camera phone mm. you're already everywhere mm. so use the platform that you have before you are seeking a bigger stage this tiny platform can give you more than you can ever imagine yes 
I know brands that pay people just to put their products on display in their skits. People have made mad money just by cooking in their house. Yeah. Everybody follows Masha Cooks because of the excellent way she presents her food. Yes. And there have become so many. So why are you queuing on the line of I must be an actor when there are many things you can be? Maybe in a couple of years, they'll be saying, Lola is an actor, dancer, baker, who knows? So use what you have that is readily available before you start thinking of shutting that O2. But all our young people, they want to blow. And I'm wondering, you don't even have one successful single. You are thinking of doing show at a hotel. That is not a realistic dream. So please start where you are. Yeah. That's all I'll say. You you heard her. She said start where you are. Let me just take this. Um, globe global inspirer. Oh, thank you so much. He said us. Uh, I don't know if I think he's a lady. So inspiring. I must say, well done. Hola heavens and Lolo. Oh, she says this is my first time of taking time to watch a live chat. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Ha, my sister, what you're saying is absolutely right. You know, for a lot of people, we sometimes tend to look for an excuse and say, oh, it's because this person, and that's part of why I brought this program forward, that it's because this person had opportunity, better opportunity than me, it's because this and that, and we look for excuses. I remember someone telling me, you know what, it's because you are doing TV, you've been doing it, it's because your mother was, you know, a broadcaster, she was this. Let me shock you. The first audition I ever got, even though it was the same NTA, they didn't even know who my mom was. I had just given birth. You know, I just said, this TV thing, I really want to do it. It was in a different state. I went there and by force went to read it. My sister, I almost fainted. Inside me, I was shaking. I followed, I followed somebody there. And they were like, won't you read? I said, okay, so good afternoon. And when I read, I was given the job. Nobody knew me. I'd been dreaming, but I had to take the step of faith to do something. You know, so you are really right. People need to just step out there, start doing something. Let people know that you do what you do. Don't hide it, you know, and don't don't make other people God over your life. Like if uh, Lord, Lord does not answer me, my life will not be okay. If Naomi does not answer me, no, it's God. He has created a path for you guys, you know. So, uh, okay, someone says, Kenny says, uh, stay in your lane and work on your talent. Definitely. Um, Fem real. Okay, people are saying a lot of things, but I'm still going to ask you a question before we go, before they yank us off, because I know you need rest. In fact, I was a bit worried. I was like, ha, I know she has started work and all that, so she needs rest. This um, COVID-19, COVID if I, I was about to change it to COVID-16, <laughs> it would have trended. This COVID-19, a lot has happened, and we're starting to change our mindsets you know a lot of things are happening people now on a normal day you'll be saying oh you want the perfect set i want to do this perfectly but now you bring your phone and you're like well after all we're not going anywhere how do you see it shaping the entertainment industry hello miss maziri we see you how do you see it shaping the entertainment industry and how can people take advantage of it post covid well we don't even know what our lives would be like post covid the only thing i tell people is that Change is the only constant thing in life. And you have to constantly keep evolving. If you stop evolving, you become ancient. And what happens to ancient creatures? You become extinct. You have to adapt yourself to what is happening around. If you don't adapt yourself, you're just going to have there's not going to be a tomorrow for you. 
no matter how much you tell me you love an IBM typewriter, uh, if you are still using IBM now, who will patronize you? No one. Because there are better options. Yes. So post-COVID, everybody still has to keep addressing their minds to what has changed mm. and adapt their realities to suit it so that in the in the next couple of years you will still be relevant yes. this might be our new life mm. so are you going to be waiting how about if the world doesn't go back to what you used to know mm. are you going to die with the old or you are going to adapt yourself and move in with the new so everybody should be ready to adapt is the only way we can move forward hmm. wow you heard that guys very powerful can you talk to us about the production when love is not enough ah oh, my Why? film yes i did that it's film in 2018 i did it's like a yoruba contemporary movie i just wanted to start my first production and i was about to do another one this year but see what everything has become but I want to tell my own stories. So that was my first effort. I had a lot of challenges with it, but like you know me, I'm just, keep, I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do. I'll keep putting my best feet forward. It's a film I wanted to use to, that I used to raise awareness for multiple sclerosis. A lot of people think it's only cancer that kills. There are many other diseases that are debilitating and affecting people's lives. And some people have lost their lives to it. So it's good sometimes to showcase love, not in that perfect way, that everybody thinks, oh yeah, my night will come and it will be shining, just like all those cartoons that we watch and they lived happily ever after. after. The end. You and I know that it's not always like that too. Mm -hmm. Before you get to that happily ever after, there are many thorns between the roses. Mm. So that was what the film was all about. Okay. But even, let's just assume, because we don't know the timing or anything, but we hope and pray that it will end soon. What should we expect from you in terms of production? Because I, I personally want to see more of not just the actress, the MC, radio. I know I want to see the producer. I want to see the stories that are born out of your soul. Because I mean, I know how you tell stories. So I want to see more of that. Well, what should we expect? I've, I'm already writing my next. So let's hope that we might be able to shoot. Let's see what the year comes up to be. Um, when Love Enough Enough is about to go online too very soon. So a lot of people will be able to watch it on all the portals available um, on YouTube, different YouTube pages. They'll be able to watch it. But I'm already writing. I want to write a bigger story this time. Maybe something funny. But let's see. Everybody mm -hmm. should keep their fingers crossed. Literally crossed. Okay. I'm going to ask you a final question because I know that Really, apart from time, I also want you to go and just have a short eye if, if you can. Ah, goddess, go to the ladies. Please don't pee while watching us, <laughs> even though we can't see you. <laughs> She's rushing to the ladies. Okay, so we have so many comments. Said we need, uh, Ojuade says we need more comedy roles from you, Ma. I don't want to do too many comedy because Nigerians have a way of stereotyping you. Once you start doing comedies, everybody we think that oh, oh that's the only thing you can do you can yeah. understand okay so final word to people out there who love you who follow you who just you know love every everything you do i just want to thank everyone for being a part of my journey and to know that their journey is legit everybody's mm. story is valid yes tell yours your story is valid your life is valid you are valued if you do not see yourself as valued, nobody would place a value on you. Don't let anybody's story scare you. Your story is being written. It doesn't matter if it's just like reading chapter one of a book and forming an opinion. 
until you get to the final chapter. You can't, you do, you might not know how the book would end. So please don't judge yourself too harshly. Allow your story to evolve. Until we are dead, our stories have not ended. So people's stories even outlive them. That when they die, somebody continues to tell their stories. So please, the world is waiting for all of us to manifest. So don't let him, anybody stop your shine. God bless you all. Oh, guys. I mean, I'm sure you're joining me to say thank you. For those who have more questions, please, we can't take them at the moment because as she said, in fact, this is a stretch because to talk for like one hour is not an easy thing and she's using its energy. We have to send her some energy tonics, you know, just to help her and to sleep also. Um, someone was talking about Nollywood. You know, there's hatred everywhere. It's not necessarily the way you think and all, but I mean, people, are, they are working on it. It's a, a, an evolving industry industry you know so i want to say thank you my sister thank you so much you have said so many things in fact i have goosebumps i have to watch again and as i said write out the quotes you guys also thank you for watching because your time is precious time is money thank you guys if you guys are not following me go and follow me so that you can see the fantastic people i bring on inspired by others not be just talk for talk sake oh. not just talk for talk sake you still say i didn't learn ah my sister, I didn't get to say that part. You know, when I watch her or listen to her, I'm like, I'll speak pigeon like her. So my people, I don't they learn small, small. One of these days, I could just show. That's from my teacher. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my sister. Have a fantastic night. And rest easy. Rest. So guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Gotta go. We have 22 seconds. In fact, my mind is blown. I'm sure your mind is too. Oh, my, yes, my handle is Ola Heavens. O O L A, then Heavens, like heaven with an S. H E A V E N S. So, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. <laughs>